How's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the SDB emulator to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And first of all, you'll have to get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. You can actually get Downloader free of charge from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, you go to search on the Fire Stick and start typing Downloader in the search. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of that app. After that, you click on Downloader, and that's the application that you gotta get to your Fire Stick. But after you got Downloader, it is not over yet, because you still have to set it up. So now in order to actually set up Downloader, you have to go to Settings on your Fire Stick, scroll down and go to My Fire TV, open it, and now from here, you'll have to turn on developer options on your Fire TV stick. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to move on peer. You just have to go to About, select Fire TV stick, and now you gotta start clicking on the middle button on your remote, and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have popped out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, after that go to install on apps, and now from here all you have to do is locate downloader, and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick. Here it is, we open it up, and there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say it will connect to Germany right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone, or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or, just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So now we gotta go straight to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, open it up again, and then head to Downloader. And when the app opens, what we need to do in here is on the left side menu, click on Home, and after that, you have to start entering the code which will be 5, 9, 4, and then 9, 1, 3. So once again, 5, 9, 4, 9, 1, 3. That is the code you have to enter. And then click on Go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. And now the load of the app has started, usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection, so it takes only a couple of seconds. 
After that, you have to click on install and just wait until that app gets installed to your far TV stick device. And after it is installed, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you'll have an option to delete the unnecessary installation files, as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary installation files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now, if you go to the list of apps on your Fire TV Stick, we'll open it and there you'll find the STB emulator application. So now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.